What do you think is causing the sudden constant surge in the box office? Bad Boys, Inside Out 2, Despicable Me 4, Twisters, and now Deadpool. Well, I think it's not necessarily that it's a, a sudden surge so much as it was a delayed surge. This is pretty normal for summer, that you have big movies, ma movies making a ton of money. Like, if you stop and think about it, and even if you compare it back to 2019, how many movies had made a billion dollars by this point in time in summer 2019 versus this summer? And you go, well, we're, we're trailing from 2019. But um, we've had kind of a, a week last year since Barbenheimer a year ago. It's been slow. It's been sluggish. It it's hasn't been particularly, yeah, I mean, there just haven't been nearly as many big event films in the last year. And just once again, step back in the context, what happened? Well, May of last year, we had a writer's strike that led into an actor's strike. And so you had this gigantic disruption of the creation of film, of the writing of films, of the filming of films, and of the marketing of films that it's had a trickle down for a long time. And now we're starting to get on the other side of that. So imagine our interpretation of this summer if it started the way it was supposed to. This weekend's movie opened at the beginning of May. All of a sudden, the summer kicks off with a record smashing Deadpool 3. That's a, it reframes the entire summer because you don't start off with, ooh, Fall Guy, that was pretty weak. You start off with record smashing. And then in June, then you would have this, you, you know, Bad Boys does solid. And then Inside Out 2 becomes record breaking. So July or May breaks a record. June breaks a record. And then you'd still have Despicable Me 4 and other twisters doing great in July. And so you balance out the, the year a little bit better. And uh, uh, some are all the way that was supposed to be. And all of a sudden, you have a normal summer where there's hits all along the way. But we didn't really have a summer opener. And Fall Guy underperformed. Planet of the Apes did good, but not great and not summer opener. Furiosa obviously way underperformed. So it's not so much that we had a sudden surge as we had a distinctly and uniquely bad May. So by comparison, Bad Boys 4 just does solid numbers that you'd kind of expect from a Bad Boys movie, maybe overperforming just a little bit, but like did solid compared to the last one came out in January. This one's coming out in the summer and it does good. What you'd, you'd expect it to do if it performs how they want it. And all of a sudden it's like, well, this is incredible. Well, it's incredible because the last month set the bar so low. So then this feels like it's doing awesome. And then a Pixar sequel that's well reviewed doing the numbers that it's doing. Like it's become the biggest Pixar film, but a Pixar movie, Pixar sequel that actually is one that people want doing great is not sudden or surprising. And so I think it's it's all that kind of framing of what, what happens when you have a a year straight of not much actually making a big splash where, you know, we had Dune part two, but, you know, last fall Aquaman did like half of what the previous one did and stuff like Wonka ended up making half a billion dollars. And so it became like a very profitable film, but it's still like when you're talking about it, it didn't make a splash. It's just like, yeah, people kept seeing it. And now we're in the summer season where like they're making big splashes and every weekend we're having a splash. That's what the summer's supposed to be like. That's what's normal. May was weird. This isn't weird. May was weird. And I, some of it just like I've been thinking about just even kind of looking at my my uh, view numbers over the last few days and especially like especially since covering Deadpool and Wolverine and 
posted my X-Men video and just seeing the, the numbers right out of the gate, I was like, oh yeah, this is what, this is what it used to be like. <laughs> this, is what, this is what 2018 to 2019 was like every three months, a Marvel movie come out and every, it's just like, everything is just teeing off. Everything like cover anything and it does great. And then, you know, when they put out a movie that generally audiences are like, I don't, that's not really what I want. Then they don't care about my rankings or whatever either. And so, um, you know, it. Th this is what the good old days were like. This is, and you kind of add into that also, we, we really are in kind of a, it's been weird for five years because of COVID. Like, yeah, this thing that really disrupted things and it's it's been crazy and weird. So when you have a month that's just like, yeah, this is a normal summer month. Blockbusters make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how that works. And remember, like, all, like I, I guess even as I said, you know, it's been a year since we had any big hit movies. But also remember, last year was the year of flopbusters. Last year was the year where we had a disproportionate number of big movies we thought were going to be huge, and then they underperformed. So we're like in this weird space where we we for, forget this is this is what used to be normal that every weekend during summer, movies open huge, do huge, and people are excited about them. This is the normal. So it wasn't a sudden surge. It's just like, finally, it's being normal again. Maybe that's the way I would perceive of it. Most of these clips are pulled from my Patreon live streams. I do about six live streams every single month for $2 per month, $20 per year. You can get access to all the exclusive videos and live streams for $5 per month. You get your name on my end card. At the top tier, you get a 30 minute video chat with me each month. The link down below in the description has more information.